Hi guys, I'm Sienna Jerota. Welcome to CA Inter Financial Management MCQs. We all have done every possible question from the chapter of capital structure. Time for us to be almost reaching the end. <clears throat> One thing that we proudly do is that we are not trying to just say the answer for MCQs. We give the logic, so therefore it will help you to recap whatever concepts you all have done in financial management. Now, just as a note, please do remember on every Saturday, Sunday, our complete lectures for CA intercosting do come out on our YouTube channel. Spread a word, especially among those students whose CA inter is still left. Let's start the question for today. So the question is, which of the following steps may be adopted to avoid negative consequences of overcapitalization? Okay, overcapitalization we all have dealt before also in few of the MCQs, but let's look at the four options first. First, the shares of the company should be split up. This will reduce dividend per share, though EPS shall remain unchanged. Issue of bonus shares. Okay, C, revising upward the par value of the shares in exchange of existing shares held by them. And lastly, the reduction in the claims of the debenture holders and creditors. Okay, see. First of all, what do you mean by overcapitalization? In case you know the answer, this is the time to be commenting, please. Okay, now, overcapitalization means what? Overcapitalization is a term whereby a company has more capital than it needs. Example, company did a IPO raised 200 crores of capital but for the business it only needed 1500 crores the rest is just lying like that okay it raised the money say through equity or through debt but that capital is lying with it okay that extra 500 crores is just lying on the asset side in form of cash it is not needed by the company this is a situation of overcapitalization. do remember Overcapitalization return that you will get is only on 1500 crores, but the capital that you all have is 2000 crores. Okay, although the capital that you needed was only 1500 crores, obviously your ROCE will be falling. In such cases, what you all can do, it's simple. If you have extra capital, what should you do? Either try to do a new business, so therefore that extra idle capacity gets used, but that is nowhere of the four options. Then what is to be done? You all will understand that A, B and C no will not result in using that extra capital. So therefore, best thing to be done, return this capital back. Okay. That is whatever is printed in D over here. Okay. Reduction in the claims of the debenture holders and creditors. So try to return back the capital. At least what will start to be happening if you'll return back the money to the debenture holders, the burden of interest will start to be falling. If suppose in this case you have taken the capital, say from banks, okay, try to return it back. At least your burden of interest will be falling. Okay. See, you cannot redeem the equity shares that will amount to buyback. Okay. So therefore that option is no longer there also uh, among the four options. And A, B and C, the three options that are given, you all will understand. Even if you split up the shares, okay, capital will remain same only, only that it gets divided up into more number of parts. Issue of bonus shares. Bonus basically capitalizes your earnings. Okay. You are not trying to use that capital. So therefore, even B is not your answer. Third, even if you increase the face value of the shares, it neither, it does not use the idle capital that you have. Okay. It's simple beta. You have extra capital which is lying with you. That capital is of no use. If that capital is of no use, the best thing that you can be doing, return that capital back. Uh, at least that will help you to save your interest. So therefore, among the four options, I guess D makes the maximum sense to me. D should be the answer. That is the correct answer. That's it from my side. I'll see you with another question next time. Till then, take care guys. Bye.